Good morning, everyone. It's Mama Karen. Another car vlog. Just pulling out of my carport. Got to run an errand or two. So I just wanted to give you a little uh, life update and just chat with you just a little bit. Um, let's see. Let's start with my birthday. It's been a couple of weeks now and it went fine. Um, my birthday was actually on Saturday, the 22nd. <coughs> Pardon me. And I was lucky that I got to spend time with my, all my kids and grandkids. Um, on Saturday, my son and his five children and his three grandchildren and my husband and I, we all went out to eat at a, uh, there's a place in our area that's known for their ribs. And people come from all over the state actually to uh, to eat ribs at this place and it's also decorated for the seasons you know throughout the year and so it's it's a it's a very popular place and we had a great time it was so good to get everybody together uh, my son who is a junior we have uh, he has children that range in age from 28 to 6 and then he's got grandchildren that are 2 or 7 and one is 16 months old so he's got a bit a broad range and of course you know well I don't guess of course it could be by one marriage but his first marriage he had three children and those are the older children and then he married <clears throat> again and uh, after a divorce of course <laughs> He's not Cody Brown. But anyway, he uh, married again, and his wife had a daughter at the time that was, I guess she was about four when they got married. And he, he adopted her about two years ago. And uh, then they had a child right after they were married. I mean, almost like 10 months after they were married. And so um, his daughter and his his youngest daughter and his youngest son are aunts and uncles of kids that you know the youngest son he's actually younger than the grandkid the two oldest grandkids so that's that's a funny fu funny family dynamic and we have fun with that it's it's just the way it is you know the kids don't know any different and everybody gets along real well you know it's kind of funny we went from having just the three children three grandchildren with the son <clears throat> and then we have two grandchildren with the daughter to all of a sudden having five children with the son and three great-grandchildren and then with the daughters we still have just the two grandchildren well anyway to make a long story short on that Saturday we were able to have eat and visit with that whole with my, our son and all of his family. I think everybody was there actually. Maybe one son-in-law had to work. One son-in-law wasn't there. But other than that, everybody was there. And then on Sunday, um, we were able to go out to eat lunch with, the, with, the, with our daughter and her two children. Um, my granddaughter was home from, from college, so that was a lot of fun. I got to see them. We go to church with our daughter and her family. We have for 20 plus years. So, uh, it was just a really good birthday. Even though my number got bigger, I was still, you know, glad to see everybody. And I heard from all my siblings, you know, everybody called me. And, and most of my nieces and nephews I heard from. Had a couple that I didn't hear from, but I, I never hear from them. And, unless it's a, a big holiday or something so I, it was a good good holiday like I said I'm gonna move on from that I was a little bit blue after my birthday I don't know I think I always do this every year I think it's just a seasonal thing for me you know it's like oh am I where I want to be have, have I accomplished all I wanted to do and you know have I met my goals and I think you're, you're sometimes I'm pretty uh, I don't know, I look inside myself to try to determine if I need to 
revamp my goals or whatever. So uh, I had a week where I was a little blue, but then I, I said, hey, you know, I gave myself a kick in the butt and said, this is stupid. I have a great life. I have everything I could ever want materialistically. I don't know if I said that or not correctly, but you know what I mean. I have all the everything I need and most things I want. So I have no complaints. I have a good relationship with my uh, family, with my spouse. So, you know, life's good. I have no reason to be down and out because I need to look around and I can see people a lot less fortunate. So then on Halloween, uh, let's move to that. We live in a small community. We used to, I used to have hundreds of trick-or-treaters, but they started doing that trunk or treat in the park. And uh, it's probably safer, but that cut out a lot of my, my trick-or-treaters. And I probably had about 30 that came to our house. And of course, all my grandkids came. And um, they were cute. Two of my grandsons, of course, were vampires. One of my grand my granddaughter was Batgirl. And then my youngest baby, 16-month-old baby, she was Rosie the Riveter. And oh, it was so cute. And I'm going to try to insert um, a couple of pictures at the end of this video so you can see some of them. Uh, and then my um, granddaughter, that's, she'll be 12, she and her friend, they did the coolest. They, they're their outfits were the, the cutest you I'll just have to show you it I it's one girl her friend dressed up as cool whip and Sophie dressed up as nay nay and you just have to see it I showed it to my husband and of course he didn't get it <laughs> but you all will get it it's cute it was very creative I thought and I'll insert that at the end um, let's see after Halloween what's happened after Halloween not a lot, not a lot. We just hung out. Still working on getting my backsplash. The guy that's supposed to be um, putting that up for me is in between jobs, so I'm waiting to hear from him. I ended up, <clears throat> the accent tile that I wanted that I had to order, special order, it wasn't gonna be here for like months. So we canceled that and we just decided, I looked at a bunch and I even bought some and it was very, very expensive for just the accent tile. It was like 800 bucks. And I brought that home and then I looked at it and I thought, I, I don't love it. And for $800, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to go, I think, with just a single glass tile. It's kind of in a smoky, I don't know what color. It's not gray. It's in between a gray and a brown, I guess you would say. But I decided, and it's got a little bit of a sage. <clears throat> cast to it. I don't know. I'll just have to show you when we get it up. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I can see my phone is is uh, moving all over. This road is pretty rough and I apologize for that. <clears throat> I had a cold and sinus so I'm sorry I'm having to clear my throat um, so often. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So that's the tile job. Oh. We went shopping over the weekend because I wanted to um, get some new um, candles. And so we went to Bath and Body Works in the mall that's, I've got a mall that's 75, nor 75 miles north of me and then another one that's about 75 miles south. So we went to the one down south a little bit <clears throat> and of all things, they were moving to a bigger store in the mall and so they were closed and I could not get any candles. I was so disappointed. However, I was able to go to Ulta and I did make it to Sephora. And let's see, let me think what I bought. At Sephora, hmm, oh, I bought some new cologne, Giorgio Amani C. And then I bought um, a lip, it's a lip gloss. Let me see if I have it in my purse with me. I'm sure I can't read it if I do. But it's, uh, I believe it's Too Faced. Is it Too Faced? Yeah, melted. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's one of these melted and it's kind of a matte gloss. And I have to put, it's not a gloss, it's kind of, it's a, it's a lipstick, but it's sort of in gloss, it's a liquid lip, 
the flip the stick I guess is the best way to say it and it's pretty matte so I have to put something over it otherwise I think it's kind of drying and I have that on today not sure that I love it can y'all see it so is that what I bought at Sephora okay yeah I bought I think I bought cologne and then I bought this oh and I got my birthday thing a birthday present there I wasn't impressed with any of the selections or with any of the points so I did I opted I got I did get the uh, the birthday present which I think I got the soy brand cleanser with the mask I've tried those before because I've had samples of those they're okay is that all I got at Sephora I think I did okay then I went to Ulta and of course I had forgot my coupon for my birthday gift there and they don't give it to you without your coupon so I didn't get that and then I got some I needed some it uh, it's the celebration foundation powder uh, before I'd had it in the medium and I thought it was just too dark for me so I and it was getting old and I used most of it up so I replaced that with the light and did I buy anything else there I know I did because I never can leave with just one thing I bought something else there but it must have been something small because I don't remember I don't remember what I got there but um, so I had a small haul there hadn't been anything makeup wise that I've been in the the mood for I hadn't wanted to try anything I guess of course I've just staying home you don't use as much makeup um, ooh, I'm 12 minutes and haven't even said anything yesterday after we got home from church I decided I would clean out my closet and then I ended up cleaning out my husband's closet we've got we each have our own closet and I tried on I swear to you I tried on 40 pairs of pants jeans or dress slacks and out of the 40 I probably I kept 10 15 pair 15 most they just don't fit anymore since I've started wearing yoga pants every day dress slacks don't fit right actually something's happened to my body everything has gone to my belly and my legs have got skinny and my skinnier and my they're not skinny uh and then my thighs have gotten thinner and i've never had any hips i'm built straight and i'm not a hippie person i just have a big belly and so it looked like all my all my pants looked like mc hammer pants i mean they were awful so I ended up, I bagged up, I'm, I'm not kidding when I tell you, I, I know it had to be 25 pair of pants. Because, you know, these are pants that I've had for several years from when I was working and all. So I'll give those to Goodwill. And so I got my closet cleaned out and reorganized. And now I, I have about, I have my clothes and I still have them in three closets, but I have culled some of them out I don't have near as many as I used to also cleaned out my husband's closet and got rid of some of his clothes and threw away some of his shoes I don't know shoes can get nasty looking quickly and I have lost a pair of brown shoes that I just bought at the end of the season last year and I for the life of me cannot figure out where the heck I have put them and that's just been driving me nuts another another case of misplacing objects in my house misplaced objects i don't know what i do with things um i think that is about all i'm getting ready to go into the store here i need i'm gonna buy a candle here in town or uh, not in my town but a few miles away and then i've got to head home and a little bit will be over in a little bit her mama was off today but i'm gonna watch her for a couple hours while she goes home and tries to clean house because lord knows you can't get anything done with little bit she is walking and running all over the place and she started you know she's talking and she'll say whatever you say she'll try to say it she's just a mess she is so much fun though i you know you can't be mad at her because she's just she's just precious she has learned though she's a, might be a manipulator when she grows up but 
if she, if she's doing something and you tell her not to do it, well, no, 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 she'll come over towards you and she'll kind of pucker up a little bit because she wants to give you kisses. I guess she doesn't want you to be mad at her or she wants her own way. I'm not sure. But it's, you can't help but, come on people, you just can't. You can't help. You can't help but give in to that. You know, I love her so much. And then there's so much tragedy in the world and people, you know, killing their children. You know, I'm like, it just breaks my heart and I can't believe all this that's going on. It's, it's ridiculous. And tomorrow is election day and I will be so glad, so glad when that is over. Uh, it's just a terrible situation that I think our country's in. I, in my opinion, I just tired of it, tired of the candidates, tired of all the politics, tired of all the corruption, tired of all the greed, you know, tired of all the immorality. People just do not care anymore about each other or themselves. And I don't want to leave you on a bummer like that because you, know, you all know it just as well as I do. I hope that you all can remember the kindness in your heart and that God loves us and he wants us to he wants us to to follow in his footsteps and be kind and loving even to those that's hard to be kind to so i hope you all are doing well today and that you're enjoying your day um and your life and you're looking around you and you're seeing all the beauty instead of the ugliness and <laughs> again i was gonna leave you in a good note and i i always veer off but I hope you all are doing well. And this is Momo Karen. And I sure appreciate you watching my channel. I know I'm not very um, interesting. And people are going by looking at me because I'm talking to myself. But anyway, they'll get over it. Anyway, hope this finds you well. And you all take care. And I'll try to check in with you again soon. And, and you know, maybe, maybe I might come up with some content that's meaningful. Could happen. Have a good day. See y'all later. Bye-bye.